getting this trip started. <laughs> we stayed at the Fairfield last night in Jacksonville. Jim drove me down here. There's Jim. Hey. <laughs> and now he's taking me to the airport this morning. Didn't even make me ride the shuttle. How about that? <laughs> trying to go find Beth who's uh, waiting for me and uh, dang you know they park you way at the end of the of the terminal section the <laughs> way at the end of D row I don't even know what gate it was like 70 and um, you know I'm trying to get to D1 find the exit door and go find Beth <laughs> hey, <what happened>? <laughs> It's me and Beth. It's our first day uh, in Ecuador. It's our only uh, morning here. We're in Guayaquil. 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 See, I can't even say it right. <laughs> hey, Beth. <laughs> I'm gonna go get breakfast <laughs> and coffee. Beth's running down to get breakfast. Of course, I still have to pack, so I'm going to uh, do that. And it's like um, it's like 6:15 this morning, um, almost 6:30. But uh, the breakfast is serving at six and we have to leave here at eight to go back to the airport because we're flying to the Galapagos today. So we had breakfast and we're out here at Iguana Park, which is across from the hotel. There's a security guard, the whole place is fenced in. And uh, there's a security guard inside, and the gates were closed. And we, of course, they speak Spanish, so he kept saying ocho. Uh, so they didn't open until 8 o'clock. And I was like, please. <laughs> He's like, okay, okay, come on. <laughs> We are leaving Guayaquil and next stop is Baltra Galapagos Islands. So you made it to the Galapagos Islands, a thousand five hundred kilometers away from Guayaquil, uh, around where you were, and you made it to the island of Baltra. And we are moving to the Tabaca Canal, for then moving to the island of Santa Cruz, Baltra, the Tabaca Canal. Then we come over here, where the tourists is pointing to see the tourists, for then moving into town where your hotel will be.
giant Galapagos tortoises were simply amazing. It's the only time during the trip that I had tears in my eyes because I was just overwhelmed by how magnificent they were, and I couldn't believe I was actually there. Once, there was estimated to be around 500,000 tortoises in Galapagos, but today only about 15,000 remain, and many of those are thanks to the conservation and breeding programs of the Charles Darwin Research Center. Because tortoises can go up to a year without eating or drinking, they were once hunted, captured, and transported on boats for sale as food. Now, of course, they are highly protected and roam freely around their islands. Giant tortoises can grow to over 500 pounds and live 150 to 175 years. It was truly like walking among the dinosaurs, and they were everywhere in that area. It's hard to describe it in words. It was absolutely amazing. This is where you arrive, remember Baltra? Mm -hmm. The Tabaca Canal, we are on the eye of the flight catcher, and here is town. Tomorrow, I will tell you how this will go in the bus, but tomorrow, we're taking the bus back again, and we're navigating to Bartolome, back and back. On the next day, we're taking the town, the bus ride, and around to North Sea. This is out of proportion. This should be over here. It's a lot much more farther. Tomorrow is a very long day. It will be around 12 hours. Good morning. <laughs> it is early here on Santa Cruz in the Galapagos Islands. Um, we got up about five o'clock this morning. Be on a, on a boat today. We're gonna see a lot of birds. Hopefully the frigate birds, the blue-footed boobies, and the uh, penguins. I didn't even know they had penguins here. So, you know, hey, it's a busy day. I gotta get going. I'm supposed to meet everybody for breakfast downstairs at 6.15 and we get on the bus at 6.45. So we gotta be 12 hour day. Talk to you later. been on the boat for like two hours uh, so we're almost I don't even know what the name of the island is so I have to look it up and put it on here um, but it's real pretty it looks like I don't know it kind of looks like a different planet it's real rocky um, I don't see any trees
can't tell you enough how wonderful the wildlife is in the Galapagos Islands. Every animal we saw, whether on land, in the air, or underwater, just seemed as happy to see us as we were to see them. It was just incredible. North Seymour Island is fully populated with magnificent frigate birds and blue-footed boobies. There are also a bunch of land iguanas and many sea lions and marine iguanas. As we walked the trail, they all just sat in their spots and couldn't care less that a bunch of tourists were strolling by snapping photos of them. In fact, every animal we saw at any location on the islands acted the same way. It was crazy and wonderful at the same time.
Our Gate One guides were just fantastic, full of information, friendly, outgoing, helpful, every one of them. I can't wait until my next Gate One trip, but phew, Galapagos set the bar high for sure. And our couple of days spent on the mainland of Ecuador were great too. In fact, I'd love to return one day and tour the eastern part of the country in the Amazon rainforest. Wow, for sure.